After skipping eight summons from the Enforcement Directorate, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has finally agreed to appear before the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the Liquigate case. But he's only going to do so via video conferencing. Now, despite terming the summonses illegal, Arvind Kejriwal expressed his readiness to cooperate with the central agency. The Aam Aadmi Party says that Arvind Kejriwal has asked for a date after the 12th of March for his video appearance. However, according to ED sources, the probe agency does not record statements via video conferencing under Section 5. 50 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. अद्भुत है कि पहली बार जिसके ऊपर संगीन आरोप लगे हैं, जो शराब घोटाले के सरगना और मास्टरमाइंड माने जाते हैं, अब वो तय करेंगे कि किस प्रकार से जांच एजेंसी उसको बुलाए, किस प्रकार से जांच हो, और किस प्रकार से वो जांच में शामिल होंगे। परंतु आज का लबोलुबाब यही है कि आठवीं बार जब समन गया है तब आठवीं बार आज केजरीवाल जी ने समन के सामने पेश होने से इनकार कर दिया है आज इस्तीफा तो दूर की बात जांच में शामिल होने से कतराते हैं ये बहाने बनाना बंद कीजिए आगे किस प्रकार से करेंगे वो बंद कीजिए और बताइए कि आज आप शामिल क्यों नहीं हो पा रहे अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब 12 मार्च की कोई मौरत है क्या आपने अगर वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग के थ्रू जवाब देना तो आप आज भी दे सकते हो अपने शीश महल के किसी पर्दे को खोलकर लेकिन नहीं ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक बहाना है आप कानून से भाग रहे हो भागता वो व्यक्ति है जो क्रिमिनल होता है लेकिन अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब आपको कहना चाहता हूं कि जितना मर्जी आप भाग लीजिए आपको ईडी के सामने एक ना एक दिन प्रस्तुत होना पड़ेगा इसीलिए इस सब कुछ जो हो रहा है वो एक बहानेबाजी है और कुछ नहीं है ईडी के बहुत सारे सवालों के आपको जवाब देने हैं ईडी ने साफ कहा कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने साफ कहा कि 350 करोड़ की मनी ट्रेल पकड़ी गई है उसका जवाब आपको देना है All right, now we're also showing you visuals on your screens which are live from the Delhi Assembly session that's going on right now. Remember, the budget is going to be presented. That is Delhi Minister Atishi as, uh, on, on air as we speak. Uh, we're also going to be crossing over to my colleague Bhavtosh. I guess more details on the latest when it comes to the summons that's been issued to Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, Bhavtosh, what I wanted to ask you here is that as per information that we've received, the Enforcement Directorate, and this is according to sources, does not accept statements via video conferencing. How then is this going to proceed? Well, as far as uh, this uh, issue of summons is concerned, uh, this has been a very contentious issue between Delhi Chief Minister and Enforcement Directorate. Remember, the first summons were issued way back in November by the Enforcement Directorate, and uh, we are here in March. And uh, ED continues to maintain that the summons that have been issued repeatedly to Arvind Kejriwal uh, require him to be physically present uh, before the agency's headquarters in New Delhi. And uh, it's unlikely that, we'll, uh, that they will heed to his request that... Uh, questioning will take place via video conferencing and uh, under section 50 PMLA in which he has been asked to appear that specifically mentions uh, his uh, physical appearance. It's very rare that anyone is allowed to record his statement via uh, video conferencing. Now he says that, uh, that his statement should be recorded post 12th of March uh, through video conferencing whereas uh, ED says that uh, he should join the investigation and that his statement uh, need to be recorded. Now under 50 PMLA a statement needs to be recorded. It would be written a statement, and then one one uh, any, any individual can see what has been written, and changes can be made. Now, it could be possible that uh, ninth summon can be issued to Arvind Kejriwal, asking him to be appear, uh, to appear before the agency. At the same time, the court had said that uh, that Arvind Kejriwal should appear before the concerned court on 16th of March. All right, Bhavtosh, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those details. We'll continue to keep our eye on the developments that are happening there. With this, though, we're going to be shifting focus.